Wings helps kids soar every day by providing social, emotional learning in an after-school environment. And recently, they've been awarded with a $2.5 million grant, allowing them to expand to 16 more schools in four communities over the next three years. It's very exciting news for the organization. And this morning, we welcome CEO Bridget Lear to talk about this award and what it really means for Wings. First of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. Now, first, let's get a little background on Wings. How long has it been around and why? Why did you establish it? So it's been around since 1996 mm -hmm. and our founder created the organization because she realized that kids were lacking the opportunity to learn things like how to make good decisions, mm -hmm. how to behave well, and mm -hmm. how to build healthy friendships. So we started here in Charleston, and yeah. so that what makes us 17 years old? 17 years old, and now you've gotten a grant for two and a half million dollars, and it is the Edna, the EMCF, the Edna McConnell Clark Foundation. Yes. And tell us a little bit about that foundation, because that's who's granted you the money. Right. Mm -hmm. So they're one of the few foundations in the country that solidifies their money into just a few giving opportunities, mm -hmm. so that they can find nonprofits that show promising research and show the ability to scale and provide multi-million dollar grants instead of providing small grants to lots of different organizations. Right, they provide really big ones. They do. To uh, organizations and, and that are really doing it. And mm -hmm. they're really, they hold or, uh, organizations accountable for outcomes as well. Right. So research is very important to yeah. them. Yeah, and the outcome has been great for Wings and for the kids who go through the program because it's an after school program. Yes. So immediately after school ends, what type of environment are they entering into? They're in sort of a regular, just fun, engaging after school program that runs every day for three hours mm -hmm. but the neat part is we're weaving social and emotional learning lessons into everything that they do mm -hmm. so they're kind of we're sneaking this these <laughs> life lessons that kids really do miss out on very well, often and then sometimes they don't they're not even sure that that's what you're doing exactly but they're latching onto it and you're doing it in such an engaging and and fun way that they kind of retain that yes mm -hmm. they retain it and we test them and we ensure that each week they're getting what we're teaching them and mm -hmm. our belief is if they get what we teach them and they develop these skills yeah. then they'll be more attached to school they'll behave better and eventually lead to you know, lower dropout rates, lower pregnancy rates, lower jail. Of course, rates. and so right now the communities that you're in, of course, you've got them here in Charleston and even in Atlanta. Where yes. are you looking to expand and what other communities? Most of our expansion will occur within Atlanta and then yeah. a third region that we haven't quite decided on yet. Yeah. And um, the reason that we are not expanding in Charleston is uh, we recruit college age students. Gotcha. And we're sort of limited in the amount because we already employ mm -hmm. 52 here. Oh. Okay. So we're still going to run four great programs and serve 450 kids That's and right. be very proud of that. And here. still, you know, get kids through the program and, and teaching them those life lessons that they might not get a chance to get uh, at home. Exactly. And we thank you and congratulations. Thank you. thank you very much. That is so awesome. More after the break, so stay with us.